Okay, so today we're going to use the Debye-Yuk equation. Okay, um, previously we have this table. Uh, I presented you this table, uh, wherein the activity coefficients are already presented. However, the problem is this: What if your ionic strength is not 0 0.001, 0 0.005, 0 0.01, 0 0.005? or 0.1 what if your ionic strength is somewhere in between them or beyond that you have no choice but to do this the biochemical equation but it's easy okay so today i'm going to use uh, uh, a 0.05 ionic strength and we'll compare our answer using the biochemical equation with um Kieland's tick ball. Okay, we'll see if we will get the same answer of 0 0.805. Okay, so let's try this. Okay, so find the activity coefficient of potassium in a solution with 0 0.05 molar KCl. Okay, so we need three things in order to use the the Biol equation. First, we should have ionic strength. So ionic strength that is half the sum of the concentration times the charge square. So this is our solution. So since we have 0 0.05 molar of KCl, that will dissociate into K plus and Cl minus, that means we also have 0 0.05 molar of potassium ions and 0 0.05 molar of the chlorine ions. Hence, we can write the ionic strength equation as mu equals one half times concentration of K plus times positive one squared. Positive one is the charge of your potassium. Okay. Um, plus the concentration of Cl times negative one squared. Then we're going to substitute our concentration and charges. So that's one half times concentration of K plus is 0 0.05 molar times one. That's equal to 0 0.05. So the concentration of Cl is 0 0.05 molar times one. So still the same. So eventually mu is equal to still 0 0.05 molar. Okay. If, if you don't want to use the the Biugel equation you may do so because 0 0.05 is listed on our table okay we have here okay but I will show you what if you are very um, curious enough how to use this okay so I'm going to um, show you how to use the the Biugel equation so you may check the table if the ionic strength is in the table so uh, it happens as 0 0.05 is in the table so you can check the activity coefficient but we'll go proceed uh, and we're going to use the uh, the Biochemical equation anyway so uh, this is the first thing that's that's needed in the Biochemical equation second one we have to know the charge of your species X so looking at the problem the ion of interest is potassium ion okay so what is the charge of potassium ion of course it's positive one okay okay so we're done number three we have to know the effective diameter of hydrated ion in nanometers that means we're going to look for the hydrated ion or uh, ionic size of potassium plus still of the interest ion okay so if this is not given we can check the table we have previously to see what is the uh, effective diameter okay so okay so looking at this table uh, we have potassium ion here and the ionic size is 300 take note this is in picometers so the ionic size is 300 picometers 
However, the equation requires us to use nanometers, not picometers. So to convert picometers to nanometers, you just divide this by 1000. Or this is 0 0.3 nanometers. Okay. So with all those information that we have, this one, this one, and this one, we can use the Debye-Yukel equation. The negative log of the gamma of your interest ion equal to 0 0.51 um, Z of potassium ion squared, square root of the activity coefficient, all divided by 1 plus 3.3 .3 times the alpha square root of mu. Okay, so let's plug in all the information that we have. Okay, so that's negative log of activity coefficient of potassium equal to 0 0.51 times this is positive 1 squared activity coefficient is 0 0.05 uh, please do not write any units inside okay 1 plus 3.3 .3 times mm, 0 0.3 times square root of 0 0.05 okay then we can solve for the right side of the equation um, let me try times 1 squared times the square root of 0 0.05 1 okay so the right side of the equation is equal to 0 0.093370066699 so we have to copy all the numbers for the meanwhile please do not round off when you are not yet in the final answer okay so the question is are we done of course no because we are looking for the activity coefficient we're looking for the gamma of k plus not the negative log of that function of of that number okay so in order to obtain the value of the gamma we have to do the anti-logarithm function that is similar with your ph calculations if you want to solve for the hydronium ion concentration you get the anti-logarithm of the pH so we'll do the same so we will multiply negative 1 on both sides so that p this becomes positive log k plus equals negative 0 0.09337006669 then let's do the anti-logarithm this becomes 10 raised to negative 0 0.09337006669 and the gamma of k plus is then equal to um, 0 0.8065 or let's say this is equal to 0 0.81 okay so that's approximately equal to 0 0.81 okay, so to check if our answer is similar to what Kieland's table tells us okay so let's see if the ionic strength of is 0 0.05 oh, we should have this okay our answer using d by Euclid equation we get 0 0.80 um, oopsie we obtained this is 0 0.8065 which is good okay but the correct answer should be that of the the biochemical equation okay so this uh numbers they said here are good however they are approximations okay so you will only use the biochemical equation if the ionic strength is not this 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 okay if the ionic strength is not in this table let's say 0 0.5 molar 
so at 0.5 molar you have to use the biocal because there's no 0.5 molar ion extract in here okay so 